Hey, good morning. I wanted to do a quick video to show you guys some of the new tortoise owners, what you can do to feed your tortoises down here in Florida and if you live somewhere where you can grow food. So first things first, see here this is called dwarf elephant grass and you can find this in Florida. This is what it looks like. So first I grab a bit of these, okay, pull a few leaves off, keep them handy and then you also have your spineless Apuntia cactus right there. See this stuff grows like a weed down here in Florida. You can actually break a piece off, plant it, and it'll start growing. So you can start growing your own food. And I'm talking to some of my new camper friends that have purchased tortoises. The diet I'm going to show you right now will work for all grazing species. Heck, they'll work for all tortoises. Remember your redfoots and mountain tortoises, they can eat this diet too. It's just that they can also eat fruit. So anyway, you grab those. You grab your cactus, you grab dwarf elephant grass, you get your Missouri tortoise diet, you soak it and make it wet, okay? It's okay to feed this stuff every once in a while. So then I cut up, I take scissors and I cut up the grass, and then I take my knife and I cut up the cactus, you can dice it, soak the Missouri till it's nice and moist, drain excess water, and then you just mix it all together, and then you just take it, put it on a tray, because the Missouri is actually, um, you know, since it's wet, it'll pick up, it'll go ahead and pick up some sand. And I've also, coincidentally enough, added in some sand rid that you can get from a feed supply store. I get it from Town and Country here off Jupiter Farms Road. It's for horses, but you could put a couple of scoops of it. It's just a little pellet. It looks like this. It's just a little pellet. Put a couple of scoops in as well and mix it in. So you'll see it's in there. It smells good so the tortoises don't mind it. And uh, that's going to help get rid of excess sand that they may ingest as they graze. So that's always good. I do that about once every couple of months. And the Missouri only gets fed once a week. Okay, So you don't need to feed a lot of it. But now watch this. I want you to see how awesome this can be. When you do this, just put the rest in. Grab your trays. A little more difficult to do with one hand. See all the tortoises here, folks? Watch the uh, movement on the tortoises when I start to put this food down. Now, we'll just do this, and then you'll start to see tortoises assemble. And it's, uh, in my opinion, more exciting than when the Avengers assemble. Here they go. These are my little superheroes. So these guys are going to come on over, and they're going to start eating. But he smells it on my fingers. Let's give him a hand. There you go. Check it out, dude. It'll register in his reptilian brain. Oh, wait a minute. That's food. So he does a little sniff. A little sniff test. What is this? It smells good. All right. I'll eat it. And so begins the, the tortoise stampede. Here we go. So you can do this with sulcata tortoises, leopard tortoises, redfoot tortoises, same diet. It's really good for all tortoises. And uh, especially these tortoises that like a high fiber diet, like our star tortoises. Very cool, man. There you have a nice quick video how to make a nice breakfast for your tortoises. So I only do this once a week. The rest of the time I'm throwing in green leafy vegetables, and they're browsing and getting the odd fern or elephant grass that they can reach. So it's a really cool way to make sure they're getting their nutritional needs. All right, there you have it. Tortoises on Parade. We'll see you later, folks. Enjoy your Tuesday.